Hi, I'm Sam and in this video I want to explain you what a slackline training changes in your body. So, any kind of balance training strengthens your joints. Many studies have shown that the risk of sport injuries is decreased a lot by balance training. The stabilization of your joints is happening by strengthening the tendons and your ligaments. Besides the stabilization of your joints, you also improve the neuromuscular activation. What does that mean? The way that your neurons activate your muscle fibers is becoming more efficient. Due to that increased efficiency, you even increase your explosive strength. Explosive strength is, for example, your jumping strength, but can also be the strength that you can throw a ball. Of course, when you train on a slack line, you mainly train the legs. So it's rather jumping strength or the sprinting strength that is increased. But if you do other exercises, like for example the diagonal stand, you will train your arm and therefore also the neuromuscular, neuromuscular activation in your arm. And you will see that every new movement that you try on the slackline will let the slackline shake again. One funny example is for example this position, because it's basically the, the position that shakes most at the beginning, but you can really feel how your arm is working in this position. What are other benefits has a, an improved neuromuscular activation? For example, in elderly people, it can prevent you from falling. So it really also improves your balance in everyday life and can prevent injuries in your everyday life. And additionally, slacklining is often used in physiotherapy. For example, after an injury of your knee, it is a really good device to build up your knee again. But what is the advantage of a slackline compared to traditional balance devices? A slackline is actually, according to people who tried it, the most fun balance training device. And it has a big versatility. So every different length you have on a slackline, every different sag, and whether you stand in the middle of a slackline or like here, close to the tree on the slackline, always activate your muscle or your joints in a different way. And additionally, on a slackline you cannot just stand straight, but you can also stand in exposure. And this again activates your body in a new way. So an interesting point about balance training is also that it is movement specific. So now I'm standing on a slack line on one leg. So I'm mainly balancing to the left and to right. This movement is similar like skiing on one ski. So this movement will benefit me most on skiing. If I'm rather a snowboarder, I'm better off taking in a snowboard position. So I'm better off like standing this way with the foot not straight anymore on the line and with both feet standing on the line. But all in all, it's also to be said that the more different skills of balance you have, the better your overall balance will be. So don't just train one movement, but try to be as versatile as you can. However, make sure, especially after an injury, that the slackline is really low down and that falling is no problem or if it's if, if it would be dangerous to fall from the slackline I can really recommend a rookie rope but all in all I can really recommend you to try the slackline in any case but be patient the first steps on a slackline can be difficult but if you're patient and really try for half an hour or for an hour you will definitely succeed don't give up too fast Good luck.